Okay, Rashad. Oh, man. What the heck is going on? You might have seen the title if you didn't. If you just closed your eyes and just clicked, I understand. Sometimes I do the same. If you are new to the channel, this is the Road of 2K Sales. My wires got tongue tied, and this is the Road of 2K Sales. My name is Rashad Milligan. Tonight, Rivers is transferring. She's leaving, everybody. She's leaving. Terrell called it right here on the channel. He said, I think it's going to be Sanaya Rivers. Before the national championship, Don Staley was talking about the transfer portal and how one of the players that thought they were going to be playing a lot didn't really play a lot, and they will probably be hitting the transfer portal in the offseason. Now, a couple of, you know, um, excuse me. A couple of the um, the, the reserves and, and, you know, kind of backups and even, you know, just four-year seniors who were transferring for fifth year uh, as a graduate student and everything like that. They already announced, but people were still like, oh, this isn't who we think God is talking about. And salute to Joel. Um, uh, I haven't I haven't talked to him in a while, but uh, he is the one that that was like pointing this out to me and kept bringing it up and kept bringing it up to me until I, until I, like it says something about it. And I was busy at the time, but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it came to fruition. Uh, one of the bigger name players is hidden the portal, and it's Sanaya Rivers. So, I first want to thank God for blessing me with the privilege to play the game of basketball at the high level. Thanks to Coach Staley and the rest of the coaching staff and the program for affording me with the opportunity to win a national championship in my freshman year with this team. It has truly been an experience of a lifetime or maybe an experience for six months. Anyway, I also want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me this year on and off the court and made my freshman year memorable. Last but certainly not least, Gamecock Nation, excuse me. Thank you. With that being said, I will be entering the my name in the transfer portal with three years of eligibility to further pursue my academic and athletic career goals. Now, and she said uh, she's on the no, the no knock list, the, the no don't ask list because she already knows where she's going to go. Um, and everybody's just kind of guessing. They're like, is it Tennessee? Is it NC State? Is it, uh, wh where is it? Like, wh where are we going? So um, I think it'll be just interesting to see what what's gonna happen? Oh, some people are even saying UConn. So I think it'd be interesting to see what school she chose. Uh, but yeah, that that is not just the only reason why I brought this up. I brought this up because uh, a few former players had something to say. Here is Khadija Sessions. She said, "If these freshmen would just get past their first year and realize that just because you were one way in high school doesn't mean the same in college, say you want." I wanted to transfer to my freshman year, but I didn't. And I was a three-year starter after that. It's a grind. Here we go. Comment number two from Miss Asia Wilson. You might have heard of her. She had a statue outside of the. My freshman year, I wanted to dip. I already had my next choice of school. Laughing emoji. Covering my mouth emoji. And then someone else you might know. She goes by the name of Miss Don Staley. And I had your replacement, dot, dot, dot. Bow. Hello. And then Miss Asia Wilson again. I was going to be a Tar Heel. She let the world know where she was going to go. She was going to go to UNC. That could be another potential choice for Sonia Rivers. They're getting a lot of top uh, prospects. Excuse me. They had Tiki's little sister, I believe. Deja Kelly is over there. Uh, you know, building up a nice little solid program over there at UNC. Could be Duke, maybe. I don't know. One of the Carolinas. We'll see. I don't know where she's going. And she said, over Eva Race. Ah, over her mama did about it. <laughs> she said, girl, you stupid coach. You stupid coach. And she said, right. I won't about to leave. My mama won't go let me leave no matter how bad I want to leave. Anyways. Seems like a few shots there. <laughs> calling out these students, calling out these um, these freshmen and this this new kind of breed of kids or whatever who entered the transfer portal and stuff like that after one year. But the thing is, as I keep saying on this channel, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. No pun intended. Maybe a little pun intended. You know, you get four years 
to make as much money as possible, excuse me, I'm sorry, in, in, the, in the era of NIL, and the players are going to do that, you know. Um, now, do I think one year, you know, leaving after freshman year is a little too soon? Yeah, I think so, because, I mean, the the reality of Snia Rivers was, like they said, you know, she showed flashes, she showed potential of what she was coming out of high school, the National Player of the Year. However, it's like, you know, whenever she made a few, you know, string of mistakes, back-to-back mistakes, she had to go back to the bench. You know, then you're bringing in Zaya Cook or, or whoever the case might be, whoever uh, is coming off the bench for you. The thing about it is it's going to be like that everywhere. Everywhere is tough. Every, like, you know, I mean, you can go to a place, you know, there's a lot of uh, graduates leaving. You know, you look at UConn, like, like they said, um, you know, you got a couple spots opening up, you know, no more Vina, no more, uh, no more Kristen, you know, so a couple spots opening up there, but now really it's always going to be grinding UConn, you know, you still got Paige, you still got AZ, you still got Caroline, you still got Nika, you still got, uh, you know what I'm saying, Th- those are four solid guards right there that you still have in that backcourt, and then, you know, you're looking at uh, NC State, like, uh, they still have a couple like decent guards that that are around and, and you know I don't know all of these programs if it's a decent program you have decent players so it's, that's the question it's just like are you ready to like what are you running from you know what I'm saying like or, or what are you, is it something is it your mental health is it is it something you didn't feel happy in Columbia? Because Asia Wilson said she didn't feel happy in Columbia her first year. You know, it's something that, uh, that once again, Joel and, and Terrell always used to talk about when, when they came on the channel was, uh, you know, those first players, those first years of how it took them a couple of years to become who they are. And that's why, you know, the freshman seasons of Paige and Caitlin to a certain extent, you know, I think Caitlin is worth a mention. And then uh, even Anissa Morrow, to give her some credit this season, um, that's why their freshman seasons have been so prevalent and get the type of praise that those freshman seasons receive. Because for a freshman to go in and not only earn playing time, but star and star as one of the best in the country, especially on a women's side, is something that's a bit rare, you know, because it takes time. Like it's a four year game on the women's side. It's different than the men's side where a lot of it is like two, three years, kind of like max. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it's just, um, it's a different game over there. So freshmen don't really get the chance to shine like that. Shine, shine as the stars of the team expeditiously, immediately. So if you are struggling with your men- uh, mental health or, or something and you're ha- going through a tough time, it's probably just because, like, I mean, it's it's going to be like that anywhere. Like, really, like, realistically speaking, unless you, you know, you go to, like, a mid-major or something like that and you're a five-star and, you know, the mid-major gave you the green light. Take as many shots as you want, make as uh, many mistakes as you want. Uh, you know, we will be lucky if we can win this conference tournament and make it into the NCAA tournament and compete with the team for the first half before getting blown out in the second half. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Uh, Sports Jake ATL had a great quote when he was, you know, reporting that Deshaun Watson was going to the Falcons. And it it was, uh, if you're scared, go to church. I'm not saying it's nice, scared or nothing. I don't know her situation. I've never met her. I never talked to her. But in life, it's tough, man. Life is tough. And you can't run away from tough times. However, like I said, I keep putting up this disclaimer because I literally have no idea what she's going through or anything like that. But I do know how it feels to face some adversity. I do know how it feels to be in a place where you hate, um, not hate, but you strongly dislike waking up every morning and being like, dang, I got to go to so-and-so again. I'm sure a few of y'all can uh, uh, relate to that as well. Oh, I got to do this again. You might even be in a place hours away from everything you knew and love for all your life, combined with, oh, I got to wake up and do this again. And not seeing it through because it didn't go the way you wanted it to. Always being the, I'll tell the story like this. I was always like kind of the, um, 
it, in, in my career kind of trajectory, I was always like the guy, the young guy, like the, the button star, the blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like hot stuff, whatever. I move up to a large company, you know, a national company. And uh, I'm under like a little branch and one of their like smallest uh, markets in this large company. But, you know, compared to where I was, where I was like in small pounds, like in pound, ponds, I said pounds, in small ponds where it was 2,000, 3,000 people in the town type deal and everybody knew everybody. Coming from that to this small market under this large umbrella was, was like 100,000 plus people and pretty big city compared to, to the small town I was coming from. Uh, I was no longer the best. <laughs> I was no longer the focus, the star. Oh, man, you're so great. You're so this. It was always like, you got so far to go. You got so, and it was like a, it's kind of like a shock to me because it's like for the first time in the world of sports, not not just the world of uh, journalism in general, because the world of journalism in general, that's happened to me before when I was doing stuff that wasn't like necessarily in my strong suit field. But once I got to sports, it was like, everything was clicking but um man it was like the first time where it's like you know read your co-worker stuff look at your co look at what they're doing try to be like you know and i'm like dang like i'm really that far off and i'm like hours away furthest away i've ever been from home a couple states over this foreign land and and like for a stretch of time it wasn't that enjoyable i was thankful because i knew where i came from and i knew this was a come up to a bigger company but those growing pains early on and having to play that backup role having to play that producer role where it's like you know you clean up and you're my backup and occasionally you do you know a couple sentences and then it's like oh can i do a real story you're not ready yet you're not ready yet you're not ready like and always getting that it's frustrating but it's a part of the process. You got to trust the process, man. So, I mean, on one token, I see both sides of the coin. To end the story, I see both sides of the coin. I see the side of you got four years to make your money and it is what it is. But I also see like one year is pretty early. And wherever you go, you're going to like, it's like, uh, okay, all right, I'll say it like this. So just adults, period, right? If you're a kid, because I know, there's um there's a UConn fan that I saw them on on Twitter because they they posted like the little the clips of uh Paige cussing. <laughs> they posted little clips of Paige cussing during the draft, and I saw that they followed. I was like, oh okay, they 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 know who I am. So anyways, they said uh, y'all coming after me forever for posting these videos. I'm just a high school teenager. Y'all some adults with that pay bills. Like mind your business. So I was like, oh, like it's like, anyways. With that being said, when you grow up, um, just going through 18, 19 young adult years and everything like that, like, you, like there's no such thing as a dream job. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's no such thing as a dream house, a dream life, blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, okay, I guess it is. But it's just like every job has its pros and cons. Every job. You could work for yourself, right? And be like, I could work for myself. I have so much freedom. I don't have to listen to a boss. I do my own thing. Blase, blase. Like, you still have some cons with that. It's like, literally, when everything falls apart, you know, it all falls back on you. If you relax and don't work, then the money, you know, starts to don't. If you get some cash flow going, you still got to build up that cash flow. And then what type of cash flow are we talking? Are we talking about something where you're managing like a car service, where you're managing like some houses? You're going to have customers. They're going to be calling. If you don't do it, they're going to be calling your managers. You got to pay your managers on time. And if the money is slowing down and you're not getting as many customers, then you still got to pay your managers. It's like there's stress and things that you're not going to like and boring stuff to learn in every single thing you do, right? Every single thing in life. Um, you just got to learn to deal with it, man. <laughs> you got to learn to deal with it. Like even in this YouTube thing, like say you want to be a content creator. Yeah. I want to quit my job, my day job and become a full-time content creator. Like there's going to be some days where you're not going to want to feel like making content. 
But guess what? If you stop making content, <laughs> that algorithm ain't going to be on your side. And uh, that's where your money come from. And then when you start making it, like you got to like build up a whole thing and make a specific type of video to build up. And it's, it's not going to be something that you want. So it's just um, there's always things that you're not going to like in life. Like regardless of where you're at, anything like that. Look at this pillow. This pillow is bothering me. But um, yeah, man, that, that's, that's all I had to say, man. Is that stuff always gets tough. And I'm sure someone told her that. Um, but but that that's my message to her. Angel Reese, I, I don't know, like I wasn't going on her page to see like if she had anything, any updates or blah 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 or anything like that. Uh, she doesn't, but I mean the whole Maryland thing, that's a bit different. Cause we don't like something fishy is probably going on over there with everybody transferring and you know, Shakira saying what she said, you know, about it from what I remember when she left. Uh, I think just something fishy is going on over there. Um, and it's different coaching styles and everything and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I had to say. I'm speaking in circles now. I apologize, y'all, but I hope you guys got something out of that. It wasn't much basketball talk. It's kind of like a life talk. But I hope you got something out of it. My name is Rashad Milling. This is the Road to 2K Subs. Until next time, you guys take care of yourselves. I got some heat coming. I got some heat on the way. I told y'all I'm coming. Like, so just stay tuned. I appreciate the patience and everything like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be worth it. Trust. Big trust. Big trust, man. Let me talk my talk. All right, I'm out. I'm out.